that time. Time to give away the helmet, the helmet sock, which I got a little dust on it. Sorry about that. My Radical Life decals and a load from Boots Tees on Etsy.com. So, now we're going to find out, out of all the entries, who knew their stuff. Which I'm surprised. I didn't get near as many as I thought I would. But nonetheless, they're in here. So, without to looking, shaking, and feeling, we have one. And we're going to double check answers too. Ooh, this one comes from us from out west. Uh, Raymond. So, number one. The question was, which motorcycle is considered the most popular motorcycle of all time? I will tell you, I've had people answer from makes to styles like sport bike, cruiser. That was too vague. If you... Which... Googling was acceptable. You get the answers however you want. But if I go in and I Google what is considered the most popular motorcycle of all time, you will see, oops, the number one that comes up is the Honda Super Cub. Yes, it was a small bike, but it was the Honda Super Cub. It's, uh, it has a bulletproof single cylinder engine. The cost of ownership and maintenance is super low. Um, and here's the kicker. Over a hundred million units sold globally. No one else has come close to that. A hundred million, think of that. I can't think of that, but a hundred million. So, that one is correct. Second question, which national rider, once known as the King of Supercross, is credited with it inventing the trick called the knack-knack? Raymond answered, Jeremy McGrath. Again, correct. So, he answered on number three, name three of the most secure places in the world in no particular order, just three. Fort Knox, Area 51, and the Doomsday Locker, also known as the Svalbard Global Seed Vault uh, in Norway. So, yes, that is correct. Uh, let's see. Number four was, which country is best known as the land of the midnight sun? I won impartial to this country. Um, Norway. That is the name. And that is correct. Lastly... Which fruit will you find at the top of the trophy of the men's, tro the trophy for men's Wimbledon? Correct answer, pineapple. And I had several entries where they were wrong. It's like, Google, man. The only reason that I didn't put it in the comments was so everybody would be forced to find them on their own. Not so you could just go look at the guy ahead of you and be like, oh, there it is. Send. I was just trying to take a little bit of the lazy out. I wasn't trying to stump everybody. So, so uh, Mr. Raymond, from way west of here, you are our winner. Congratulations, sir. And Raymond's shout uh, is to my 17-pound dog, Squiz. All right, Squiz. Squiz is over 16 years old and still not taking crap from anyone. Good Squiz. So, with that, I want to be sure and give a big fat thank you to everyone that entered, um, and especially, yeah, Boots, I'm using your card, especially to Boots Tees at Etsy.com. She did not have to throw in this additional uh, cool swag, and she did, so I really appreciate that, and she sent a bunch, so I still have some left for the next giveaway. So... That's uh, 
that wraps it up in a nutshell. I'm an idiot, Raymond. I totally forgot to get a box for this thing, and it's Sunday in Midland, so I will get a box tomorrow after work, 3.30-ish, ish, and I'll have it on its way to you by Tuesday. I will send you uh, tracking information and that good stuff so you can keep an eye on it uh, while it's in route. Uh, so good job, Raymond. You guys come back, keep watching. There's going to be another giveaway within a matter of weeks, and uh, I haven't decided what it is yet, but I'm speaking to another creator on YouTube about ideas and which direction to go, and I think we've got some really good stuff lined up. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ah, uh, uh, it was still hot. Oh. Uh.